we have to find the rule for this sequence that we have here. So the first thing we have to do is decide if we've got an, either an AP or a GP. So let's just look at the, um, the gap between each one. So from 5 to um, 5 to 11, five, sorry, 5 to 16, you have to add 11. 16 to 27, you have to add 11. 27 to 38, you have to add 11. Well, it looks pretty clear. You're adding the same number each time, so this must be a, an arithmetic sequence. So for an arithmetic sequence, we know that the nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1d. And when we're asked to find the rule, really, we're asked to find this way of generating any any term that we like. So we first have just to identify, identify, identify <laughs> the, um, the things. a is the first term, which is clearly 5. d is the common difference, which is uh, a plus 11. And so we can write down that the nth term, tn, is equal to a, which is 5, plus n minus 1 times 11. Now, <coughs> that is a rule that would generate uh, any terms in the sequence, but I will just make this, you can simplify its look a little bit, so I'll just do a very small amount of algebra here. So the nth term then is equal to 5 plus, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply this bracket out. So I'm going to multiply the n times the 11, and then I'm going to multiply the minus 1 times the 11, just, just for a little simplification. And what you get here is 5 plus n times 11, 11n, and minus 1 times 11 is minus 11. And this, again, one more line of simplifying. That gives me 11n, and 5 minus 11 is minus 6. And that expression will find you any term that you like. We might just want to check just to make sure that this is all going right. So let's imagine we're trying to find the second term. Now the second term is 16. So if n is 2, we should get 16. So 11 twos are 22. Minus 6 does give you 16. So that, that all works, doesn't it? Okay. We have found that rule.